intrigue over who actually authorized the tree felling for the widening of the Siolim Road only grew after the village panchayat of Siolim Marna in an affidavit told the court that they have not done the tree cutting while the contractor in his affidavit before the high court declined to state who the persons involved in his crime were. Speaking to the media after the hearing, Advocate General Devidas Pangam said, the High Court has further sought affidavits from the PWD engineer who sought permission to cut the trees and the forest officer who granted it. The contractor has filed an affidavit. He has not disclosed any name. He has said that he will be tried for an offense and that he cannot be forced to file an affidavit or make any statement. He has the protection under the Constitution of India of not making any admission as far as criminal offenses are concerned, Advocate Pangam said. The person who is accused of cutting of the tree has also filed an affidavit as far as Panchayat is concerned. They have said that they have not done this tree cutting. Further, the High Court has directed implement of two officers. One is the engineer and the other person is the uh, forest officer who had granted the permission for cutting of the trees. They are supposed to file affidavits by the next date. That is by Monday they have to file the affidavit explaining uh, their action to grant permission and uh, as far as PWD employee is concerned whether and what circumstances under which he applied for tree cutting. Those, those are the orders which are passed by the High Court today. As far as uh, other respondents are concerned, they sought time to file affidavit. They have been granted a week's time to file an affidavit. The contractor has filed his affidavit. Has he disclosed any name? The contractor has filed an affidavit. He has not disclosed any name. He has said that uh, if he will be tried for an offence. And in that view of the matter, he cannot be forced to file an affidavit or make any statement. He has a protection under the constitution of not making any admission in so far as criminal offences are concerned. So he has taken that stand. And what about the newly implemented uh, Notices will go to them. One is the officer of the forest department. Other one is the PWD assistant engineer who applied for uh, tree felling permission from the forest department. So total how many trees were cut? See, totally uh, 29 trees were cut. That is what has come on record. So what about the 205 that thing? No, the permissions are obtained in the year, in the month of June for cutting those 200 trees. They are right not now, actually cut. Okay, right now 29 only, only 29 are cut. So. And this is the private property? These these are in private properties. The ones which are cut is, are in the private properties. I see the hearing the party number 6, 7 and 8. So contractor uh, panchayat and Panchayat Sarpanch and Panchayat Secretary and art number is Michael Logo. Then it takes one time to Michael Logo. We David file this call. And I is a high court and Sangla K. J. Junior in the house. Then he affidavit file for Kojim. It is a major complaint dealer. So, Lokajer pressure Galtalo, Zara Kapunzai, Nathan, would expand Kurunga. Take a affidavit, Sana. I think DCF, Deputy Conservative of Forest, Jane Donche Pan Zaranka Park permission delivery. Take over us party. Tell a affidavit on what basis is given this permission. Kita Glavandili, it is Zaranka Park. I mean, some of the public action is Saraman. Prize any government lawyer and Sana get. DCF and Donchi Pan Zaran Karpak is a roster. Only Oshi Shimmer or Sun Zaran Karpak permission. Means that there is no application, it looks like there is no application of mine. Which is indiscriminate Kadmi Kada Kapa. So instead of deputy conservator of forest, which is Zara Samarpa, conserve Kurba. Also conserve Kurba, the heart of deputy conserve forest. So deputy destroyer of forest. So take a affidavit to put it in. On what basis is given the permission to cut 205 trees about a one year back? Of course, those permissions are lapsed, they are no longer valid. So, another thing the argument was that complaints should be registered on these people. Yeah, right now. Yeah, because so, actually, what, uh, whether, whether the land is uh, private or whether it is government land, cutting of a tree requires the permission of the forest department. They have to be numbered, they have to be marked, and anyone asking this 
information has to be in a position to get that information okay so now we have realized that all these trees fall in private land which means they are owned by people whose whose land is it is in pwd cannot come and apply for permission in the forest department to cut trees that are in in, in local people's homes because these are see uh, this is are, not how it works no these are private properties so private owners have to apply for tree cutting third party cannot apply 200 300 so 1, how 000. can pwd apply for tree cutting in a private person's house by going to the forest department you this know, is not a way it is done see a non owner cannot apply pwd is not owner of the private properties the private property owners had to apply to if they had to cut a tree or at least court said they should have given noc nothing is there and this is complete proof right now that is all illegalities and you are trying to furnish documents right now and saying that this was given and that was given it is not possible if i want to get some trees cut in my property i will apply to for a permission to the forest department i will not go through the pwd why will i do that so this is a case of violations of all sort of laws there is no proper permission to construct the road pwd is not involved and pwd officials are involved because of misuse of power by the politician is involved there Michael Lobo. There is a trees uh, are being cut in proper, uh, private property. No consent from the private owners or land. Then there are complaints filed by the private owners that these people have trespassed and come and cut the trees. No action has been taken till today. So all those things the record has to be brought. Why no action has been taken? What is the role of the PWD here in this matter? What is the role of the forest department to preserve forests or to cut trees? So all these things are being exposed now, and more facts will come up in the next hearing when it is on the. In the ten, ten, and now that uh, respondent number six, that Mr. Sabji, who is just a tree cutter, who has been you know implicated into this whole matter, a week ago he had a broken jaw and he couldn't say who was uh, the one who gave him the order to cut the trees. Today he has said a name that he that he is the one. I mean that he is the person who has done it. Not saying who has ordered him, but he is agreeing to pay for the amount of of all the thirty five trees that have been cut. Now, who is uh, going to come to a conclusion about what the actual value of a tree like this is? And I am talking about the timber value of the tree. When we evaluate uh, a tree of this size, of this heritage value and everything, it cannot be a fee which a normal tree cutter is afford affordable to pay. The Supreme Court itself has said. The Supreme Court has said it goes up to about two and a half crores. Two, two, two to three crores is the tree value of a tree. Now, can a tree uh, cutter take responsibility for this and agree to pay all this amount? So, if no. the, tree, the value of the tree is three crores, two to three crores. Then the culprit, the main culprit, should pay the money and compensate and do forestry. You know, compensate forestry by paying these penalties, not just one thousand rupees. What Goa government wants to, you know, they are saying we are willing to pay the fine. What is the fine? Is one thousand rupees the value of a tree? How can they come to the conclusion that we are willing to pay a fine or not? They have to pay the fine penalties as per the Supreme Court. Value of a tree is nothing less than two to three crores. And this money should be utilized for the compensatory end. And the persons responsible should be punished. They should. They have to be brought. Uh, they have. The, they have to be charged. 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 An action should be initiated against them for violating the laws. They can't take the law in their own hands. It's clear case of violation of all the laws of the land of Goa have been violated. Is there any uh, project or new project is coming there? Definitely. This for somebody's benefit. There are rumors that a casino is coming because this guy. Uh, the, the MLA who is involved is always in the favor of all these big mega projects. That's how he concretized uh, Kalamut. Now he wants to concretize uh, Sioli. So his involvement is there? Definitely. There is some involvement. Without involvement, vested interest, they will not do it. His involvement has to be there because he himself has, is there on many videos claiming that it's a project that he has undertaken himself. If the PWD is agreeing to not have any project in place, they once upon a time had something which never fell through. The tree cutting licenses have lapsed. That means there is nothing in existence. That is authentic, authorized, and legal for the moment. And then on the other side, we have a video of somebody saying that I am doing it. I am doing it. This is my job, which has now been placed as uh, evidence, which has to be utilized by the relevant departments who are conducting the investigation. Because all this while, uh, Michael Lobo was claiming that he is doing it. He was boasting, "I am going to do it. I am going to do it. Todang is going to do it. I am going to play one. So at that moment, I am going to do it. Now he wants to wash his hands off. He is trying to blame the uh, poor uh, Tory Tapper." That he is, he is undercutting. When everybody knows who is the main culprit, what we want today is the mastermind of this tree cutting has to be brought to justice.